how to set up Wi-Fi wireless connection to HP print. Why is my HP printer not connecting to my Wi-Fi? How do I get my printer to connect wirelessly? If these are your questions, let me show you in this video how to connect Wi-Fi wireless connection to HP print and let's start right now. So to connect your Wi-Fi wireless to your HP printer, you need to, to have your HP printer turned on. Make sure that your printer is closer to your router which i can show you and this is my router here make sure it's closer to it it can be a little bit far you can even move this to this side but as long as it has that little range between them that is perfect to go you don't want it to be too far away that's the first thing you need to know make sure your hp printer is on and make sure your printer is in a close range of your wi-fi so as you can see on this screen here the wireless connection has been lost touch continue to reconnect because i have just changed my router to a new router so then if you change a new router you have to reconnect your printer to the wi-fi you need your hp printer to connect to your wi-fi so you need to set the wi-fi to connect to the hp print because your wi-fi id has changed so you need to reset that in your printer so the old one that you use when it's no longer there then you lost connection so the new wi-fi that you have you have to reconnect to put in your wi-fi key in there so then it will connect to the printer so that's why you see this here that my connection and loss if this is a new printer that i'm setting up then it's a different process that you have to do you will not see this here you have to start the process from the beginning setting it up going to your menu to your settings and then set that up but since i've already connected this to a wi-fi before and i have just changed my router i have to reconnect the new wi-fi to my printer so what i have to do is i just have to continue and then it's going to ask you have you changed your network equipment or network settings recently and i have so i'm going to say yes and then it's going to search for my network so when this window came up, you see which one is your network here. And then you can see other network as well. So you choose yours, which is mine. And then you have two options, whether to touch the screen to enter your password or you do it the other way, either press and hold the WPS Wi-Fi protected setup button on the router for three seconds to set it up. We don't want to do that. So I'm just going to touch this in there. And then I'm going to put in my password. You have to put it in exactly the way that your network has given it to you or the way they wrote it on your manual all the letters if it is capital letter you have to put in the capital letters if it is a small letters you have to put in the small letters just the way it is if not it's not going to connect and so i look for that and then i'm going to put that in so you put in the letter and then now a number you just push down on the number here and then you have all the numbers to choose from so we choose that number and if there is another letter you have to go back two letters choose the letter you go to if it is capital make sure put it in capital push the number that goes with that and once you click on it it will give you option just click on each one if the letter is in between here it will populate it and then you just choose from there and i'm going to put this in quickly and then we'll come back so once you put in all your network id you put in your key inside once you are done all you have to do is click done and then it's going to ask you if that is, then that is your network name and then you see your password is already set up because that is something you don't want people to see so that is egg out and but then you can see there your wireless password and everything is done then you just click ok trying to connect so we just have to give it a few seconds and then you can see connection successful your printer is now connected to your wi-fi so you should be able to print everything that you need to print everything should be good once you see that you know you have a successful wi-fi connection to your hp printer and i'll just say yes okay and then as you can see wireless is on that you don't have to do any other settings here everything else is already set up and that's it everything is set up 
can see we have our Wi-Fi. Now when you go to home and now you can see that you don't have any alert alerting you that you have a Wi-Fi issue. Now if you see this here that is your ink tells you your ink level. So let me click on that and let's see what info we have there. Now you can see this is my ink cartridge levels. It's telling me that I'm almost out of the blue. These are the various levels of your ink. I love this HP because it tells you when your ink the levels are going down or when to refill them and i can see this on my hp smart as well on my computer or i have a refill that i put in straight on my app and so once this is getting low they just refill my printer for me so i don't have to if i don't have an ink at hand use the app to buy my ink online from hp website and so i'll leave a link below the description of this video if you are in need of ink and then you get also ten dollars off i will leave a link below the description and so this is how you can see your ink levels and if that is done you said okay and that takes you back so that is the only alert i have on here you have your copy your scan and you have your fax you have your apps i love hp printer because i can print on my phone to this printer here and then also i don't have to if i don't want to do anything here i don't have to i can do everything on my computer and then it just prints out here for me i do scanning i scan a lot and then you have your fax here and then i have the apps because i have already set up my hp printer to the app on my computer so you see the app here and everything is set up and it works really really well here and then you can see when you open here and then this is where you do all your printing and your photocopies everything and it's so simple and this is really a lifesaver you don't have to go to for a printer or a copier a copy machine to copy anything you can copy everything here you can everything here and upload everything into the folders and it saves me a lot of time and I do all my work on this printer here and I don't have any issue with my HP printer so in this video I just showed you how to connect Wi-Fi wireless connection to your HP print with a new router it's so simple easy to set up it's not complicated and I hope this video helps you to be able to set up your Wi-Fi to your HP printer all you have to do is step one go to your settings on your HP printer first thing make sure your HP printer is turned on it's in a close range of your router of your new router and then go to the home page page to the menu and choose setup connection open the setup the network or the wireless setting menu and then select the wireless setup wizard select the name of your network you will see several network choose your network on there and then enter the password of your network and then once you put in the password of your network just click done on the screen and that's it you have reconnected your wi-fi wireless to your hp printer and i hope this video helps you my name is florence at florencetracker.com homemaking made simple for modern women if you want to learn vtech phone setup and tutorial watch the next video subscribe to this channel so i can make more videos like this and i'll see you on my next one take care bye